this is my first video live so I'm just going to get straight into it so this is a piece of liner just a basic piece of liner and I'm on the board at the moment and I have these cutting tools here which I'll explain in detail in a while so I'm just going to get straight into it and uh, I hope you guys enjoy so the image I'm going to choose will be of a lighthouse which is in our locality um, so I'm going to be working from that so I hope you guys enjoy and I'll talk to you in a bit The mountains in the background there. Not great at academic drawing, but you get a basic outline anyway. So the sea here. The black areas are the areas that I want to keep dark anyway. Probably the last sort of places that I'd rather that I would cut out anyway. All right. So we need to get a level of perspective. So as things disappear into the distance, things become much more smaller. Put 
couple of those. Um, clouds there. Always take your time to work things out thoroughly on the thing when you're printmaking. So we're just doing a basic line of cut drawing at the moment. So we've got a couple of clouds going by here, like that. And this is the lighthouse itself. And then we have, in the distance, we've got mountains here. And then the main structure, which is the lighthouse. Let me just get some level, good level perspective here. So it's a very, very basic, um, it's a basic line of cut print. Very fun to do. The clouds there. Top of the mountains, darkest when he's got a good outline of the mountains. All right. Alright, so now so I've decided where where the areas are going to be black and where the areas are going to stay stay white. So obviously <clears throat> the top areas I want to to stay white, so it'll be just basic black and white anyway. So now we begin to cut. Probably a good idea also to actually warm up your lino cut in before you do this because if the lino is actually cold it won't cut as well. So I'm just having a bit of fun with it. So it's only a small line of cut prints, but you start off small and you work your way up bigger slowly. So you need that level of perspective in your your prints. Also with the tools itself you need to be very very careful because these are very very sharp. Just take your time working at it. There's no rush, no rush whatsoever. So I know now that in this part I want to cut all this out, so I'm just gonna cut all this this block out here. So 
Let's just take a time. Any printmakers out there? Drop on in. It's pretty incredible like, the way the internet can do things now and communicate across the world. It's pretty incredible stuff, you know. So as we said, we want these areas to stay black towards the end. So it'll be a basic black and white. The different types you can, there are different types of linos you can do. There's different types of techniques. So you can do reduction lino. Um, different techniques, different techniques. It's very exciting stuff as well. So that's not falling out there. There we go, so we're we'll able to see a bit better. So we're still cutting here. So the aim is basically to have as much done as you can possible before inking up. Take your time at it, it's no rush. And also watch your fingers while, um, while you're actually cutting as well. This can be very, very dangerous. Hello to you all, whoever's dropping in, stopping by. So always apply, always mark, make everything in any direction you need to to emphasize what you see. Also to make it easier, it's to actually warm up the line up beforehand as well because it cuts along with that. Just makes it a lot easier, you know, just generally. So the outline here. I'm doing that just in case you, you nick your finger on the corner. So I 
So I'm going to cut this all out here. So if you're just joining me, I am demonstrating a line of cuts, a line of cut prints. This is the first stage where you you carve out on top of the lino, and then you obviously ink up. You can you can do a reduction lino, which you can do in stages and have different colours and everything. But I'm just, I'm just going to show you just the basic black and white lino cut print. Just keep it simple. Cut out the mountains in the background. Perspectives. So the shot of the image is actually of the lighthouse in, in <laughs> North Wales in Holyhead, and basically. It's to do with um, on the pier on the pier itself. It's a two-mile um, breakwater, which actually stops the sea from actually coming into um, into the town of Holyhead, which is in the coast of the Isle of Anglesey. Any line of cutters, any printmakers out there? You stop by, say hello. Use a bigger, bigger cutting tool. So you can see each cutting tool has a different edge to actually cut. So you have a different type of ones, you have a larger, larger head. So I'm going to obviously going for the finer tools because of the scale of the liner itself. Very, very basic, basic way of doing things. So we have waves here, so I need to
a lot more mark making very very detailed mark making otherwise if I print this up now it'll be all be just completely black obviously from the areas that haven't been printed up anyway so I need to work this part out here I'm going to become a bit skew with that. The fun thing is with printmaking is that you can you can explore as much as you can. You, there are no rules to printmaking, um, and just general healthy creativity. I mean, in my practice, I normally use printmaking to support what I'm doing in alongside my drawings and, and painting. Thank you, Wayne. Making slow progress. Gonna be a bit difficult, a bit of a challenge trying to get fluffy clouds, but we can get an impression of um, of the clouds themselves.
some exciting things that we can do here um, in this in this printmaking studio. Um, I'm not in my own print. I'm not in my own studio at the moment. I'm using a, um, a friend's studio who's who's um, who's actually quite who's actually quite good at printmaking. And um, I'm using his his studio at the moment. So um, yeah, no, it's fun. It's really fun. That's what it's looking at so far. It's making some progress as you can see. These areas here will be obviously the dark, dark areas, the black areas. Anything that's in between these lines will also be black, but I thought this is why I need to work it out slowly what's happening in um in the line of cut drawing here. This is my first proper uh, live tube, uh, live YouTube video. I've never done live before. So this is the first time for everything. Perspective here. So do need to cut on more here. So we need some whites, not too much black, so we have too much darkness. Then. So it's important with lines to actually, you know, to actually make inventive mark making lines. Because without it, the drawing doesn't work otherwise. So always take your time cutting with these tools because these are very very sharp, and if one of these goes into your arteries, then not going to be nice. So take your time working on a line of cut. As many, many of times I've uh, cut myself over the years. Very, very sharp tools. So different techniques you can do, you get very light, light techniques. So you can nice slow cutting techniques. Don't forget when you ink it up, it will pick up anyway, so just be very, very subtle with uh, the sharper the tools as well, the better. I think these need a little bit more uh, a little bit more cut into it, so So these so just inventive mark making. Don't need to be we're not looking for an, an exact perfect replica print. Just so next week I will show you what it'll look like inked up. 
I'm not going to show you today because of time. But I just want to give you a gist of an idea of the liner cut itself. So, yeah. So I think we're almost done with this. And then go from there. I think next week is definitely going to be. Just giving you a, a broad example of what a liner cut and what you can do in a liner cut. Um, a lot of the early uh, printmakers in the 1900s, 19, all the way through to the 1950s, uh, the post-expressionists and everything, they used a lot of this techniques and poster designs and everything. A lot of propaganda posters for its time and everything. So printmaking was very prevalent in those times because people didn't have um, commercial prints as what we have today as in digital printing form, advertising form. That, doesn't ex that didn't exist back then so everybody had to do it the old-fashioned way through the press and do it via printmaking as in line of cut, wood cut, wood blocking. Perspective. Anyway, that is what I'm going to do today, and as you can see, that is the line of cut itself. So these dark areas will be in black. So if I just show you briefly what, what it would look like in dark if I if I drew over it all at the moment. You have a gist or an idea of what the print will look like. You don't have to do it this like this, by the way, you can just do it how you feel. How you feel is more comfortable to you. general idea of how it's actually um, working working out So that is how it would look and next time you'll see this will be all linked up and everything. I'm not going to do it today because I need to get all the tools out. But I just want to give you a gist of what it's like to actually cut on lino. Anybody can do this. It's fun, it's expressive and it's very different. It's very different from your conventional techniques of doing stuff. So um, thank you for, for sticking around on those who have commented and all those who looked. And hopefully next week I'll see you again with it all linked up and some more printmaking examples. So thank you very much. I will see you all very, very soon. I just